Good afternoon. Good afternoon or good very early morning or very late night, depending on your side of the planet from where you're watching. Hi. Um, is there a game? There is a game in the corner. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, before I logged in, it was, um, the window was still classic. So that, that, that won't show up. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Ricardo. It is my birthday today. And we talked about various things that we could do on my birthday. And I must admit, I ended up deciding to play <laughs> because I have had such a busy weekend and I just got home from work and I haven't visited WoW at all weekend. So there's stuff I want to catch up on and I'm tired and I just want to chill. There's a lot, there's lots of stuff that we can do in WoW today. First off, actually, I do need to log over to my auction house character and check my auctions because that I have not had time to do this weekend. And I do know that the WoW app lets you use the auction house now, but not to to turn your auctions. So that's that's on the to-do list. And um put auto run on your character and nap. We can't explain WoW. I don't think that's very entertaining for you guys to watch now, is it? So that that would be that would be quite a lousy stream. Just let's see how far I can get my character across the Eastern Kingdoms without falling off a cliff while I go take a nap. I mean, I guess that is a, a stream title. Let me um, just fix some of my filters on this camera a little bit. Mm. That should do it. I like that better. How was your weekend? Did you have a good time? Did you relax? Did you go to work? Did you pack 20 boxes like I did? My body is aching all over because I was packing and packing and packing. I didn't actually think it was going to take me all day. I had prepared myself to chill at least half of the day and watch series and watch movies on my TV that I've watched, that I've missed watching things on for a while. It was actually really nice being back in my apartment, not necessarily because I like this space a lot, but it was my space and it was cozy and I could just do exactly what I wanted to do, which was aside from packing, nothing. But that wasn't a lot of nothing in <laughs> that wasn't until late afternoon, actually. I went for a very short walk. And then I went straight back to packing. There was so much. You you don't think you have very much. But you do, actually. All right. Didn't seem like there was anything in particular. I haven't... I don't have any cake. And there's two reasons for that. One... My parents are not home yet, so we won't be caking until evening after dinner. And two, I did have a cake, or I do have a cake in the freezer, but I came home so late last night, just in time for dinner, but I had to clean up my cat and my cat's room. I had to feed her, I had to warm the entire space because it was cold, and I had to make dinner. And by that time, oh yeah, and while I was making dinner, family called me, which I felt like I had to, to, you know, answer. And then by the time I went to bed, I went, oh, I forgot to take the cake out of the freezer. I am not gonna get out in this cold, freezing. My room was freezing. I'm not gonna leave my warm bed to take out a cake, to go out into the dark, barn where there's no light and bring out the cake I will I will worry about that in the morning and then when morning came around I thought to myself you know what that's not gonna be it's not gonna finish defrosting 
by the time I get to work. So coworkers are not getting any cake today. They will be getting cake tomorrow. And I also thought to myself, two times cake. It, it, while it, it, while you can never have too much cake on your birthday, I did actually feel like that might be too much cake. So I've just got some snacks. I've just got some chocolate and some snacks and it probably won't be long until I get hungry because I, I come just from work. So um, I imagine I will, I will be uh, hungry in not too long. Why are you trying to tank that prize? Hello, chat and awesome. Hello, Vanko. How are you? Happy Monday. How was your weekend? Had a sleepy weekend. Almost slept the entire thing away. But that's a B12 deficiency. You should you should eat some pills. I've actually started taking twice the amount of iron that I usually take because I've just been so tired and my hair is falling out <laughs> more than it usually does. And I thought to myself, it could be iron deficiency. I've experienced this before where with iron deficiency. And I also experience when I get home from work, it's sort of a sense of vertigo and dizziness. So I thought that might very well be iron deficiency. So, um, yeah, but it probably won't be long until I have to get up and get a snack. I've prepared snacks. So I prepared some bread and stuff that I can... I can grab while we go. I'm going to stream for quite a few hours, actually. My parents are going to be home half past six. And I would like to have time to get the fireplace in their room started and just sit for a little bit and get ready for the surprise my mom blew in my face last night. I had been looking so much forward to not doing anything tonight. I'm getting up really early tomorrow morning as well for work. I wanted to just watch House of the Dragon that I've gotten into way too much. I wanted to just play some WoW, eat some good food for my parents, and then go to bed early. Then <laughs> yesterday, after I'd finished packing everything, everything was aching in my body. I get a message from my mom saying, you're having guests over for your birthday. Set the table for six. And I just go, no, <laughs> who is it? I didn't want any guests. Um, it's, it's family members, but still I told her mom, I'd been looking forward to just sitting in my loungewear, my cozy pants, doing nothing but fill myself to the brim with good cheeses and wine and sausage and then go to bed early. Now I have to entertain people. Now I have to be social. I was just thinking I'm going to be emo I'm going to be socially exhausted by the time the guests come around at 7. It was just, and she tells me, oh, I'm telling you now, I could have made it a surprise like I did for your brother, but I wouldn't do that to you. Just in general, why are you doing this to me? Uh, so that was, um, that was a bit of a, that wasn't very nice, actually, to be honest. Um, I'm going to just, I'm going to just take my birthday my own birthday celebrations which will be lounging about doing very little do some twisting corridors probably tomorrow after work i will i'll be off work at 1 p.m tomorrow and i'll just celebrate my own birthday then <laughs> i'm i'm getting my quarterly b12 jab tomorrow okay that's good to hear do i have anything i need to pick up did i have a vault or anything i've forgotten no i didn't um, have I forgotten anything else? We've got, what have we got? We've got some missions. <laughs> Guests. But your birthday should be allowed to do what you want. So that's the thing. That's probably what I would have been allowed to do had I been in my own apartment. But currently, I'm in a position where, I mean, I should be able to decide myself. My mom did it to be nice, I think. But my mom is a very social creature and I think she often, often foregoes, 
she often forgets to think what I would like. I'm the complete opposite of her. And then I also think it's because my family want to see me which is nice i also want to see them but we'd been talking about one of the days that i have off this week to see them there so i hadn't emotionally prepared myself to have them over tonight so i think my mom just thought on their behalf they wanted to get together and whatnot which is nice but parents parents sometimes um she does it with a good heart but she misfires sometimes i must say so i'm going to i'm going to take it in stride but it's not my favorite thing my sister makes everyone else's birthday about her she often expects a gift what the well, how how is that even possible okay what um what do i have around my bags because i was doing a lot of mission tables while i was away because you can actually do that while you were away. So I've got stuff I can send over to my alts. So I've got some of these, which I want to send over. Then I've got pet charms. Do I have any meats or anything? I've got some skin, some leather. Okay, that's it. So, um, what is on my to-do list? I want to check out Nerissa. We're checking out small gas. We're doing Corthia. We're doing the Shah of Anger because it's my birthday. Maybe he will, you know, throw me something. Um, what else are we doing? We're doing a lay of twisting corridors. I want to get that done. I've got four out of eight at this point in time. Would be nice to be past the halfway point. And I also thought we might run a single strat home just to see if the Baron wants to drop his man. You never know. Um, how many gold do you earn on mission tables? I don't actually count. I should probably, but it might be around... So each 24 hours, I notice that there is four to six gold missions on the mission tables, and each of them gives approximately 350. So if you say 350 times five, That's I hate calculating on on screen on, on screen under pressure. Um, that's tw hmm. one thousand four hundred plus. That's seventeen hundred and fifty ish. So about two thousand. On a good day, each day, which is not bad. And that's on each character, right? So if I had my mission table leveled up on all characters, I could probably get a lot, but I haven't done that. But if you had, say, three characters where you could send out that amount of missions each 24 hours, that's 6,000 6, gold. And, um, you can get up quite high. Growing up on my birthday, I'd get something. And Paris would get her something to make sure she didn't get jealous. Oh, goodness. that That's such a sibling thing. Baron ought to drop his horse for your birthday. I thought so, too. Let's see if anybody drops anything on my birthday. Um, I'm going to see. I, I pulled out the good tea for today. I've been waiting for an occasion to pull it out. I gotta drink this fast. Oh, that's strong. It's a tea I brought with me from the UK. It's actually very good. It's not very bitter. It is Twinning's afternoon tea. Posh tea. No, it's not really posh tea. I left my posh tea back in my apartment in one of the many boxes that I packed. So this is just a tea bag, but it's a good tea bag. It's an expensive tea bag. <laughs> from Twinnings, from the UK. And I've been waiting, I haven't opened it because I wanted it to be in a special occasion. <laughs> I guess today is a special occasion. Let's see if there's a group of Funerisa. Perhaps not, nope. She ain't up now. 
maybe not up to date. So let's see if Smorgas wants to drop a pet. He doesn't. He hasn't dropped anything for me, which I think is rather rude. And um, I've got my cat with me today, looking at. You must have. She must have used that that bed a lot while we were away because. I think I need to wash it a bit, cat. <laughs> she likes to go out and dig holes in the dirtiest dirt she can find in the garden. So she comes home and her paws, her white paws, are just completely black <laughs> with dirt. But she doesn't she doesn't clean herself up before she jumps into bed, so that's all very nice. I don't think he's going to spawn. I'm just killing all of them. Ooh, I like the effect on his swords, though. Bye. <laughs> well, it's going to respawn at some point. Good day, good day, Anatar. Welcome to Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. It's all fur and dirt. It is. It is all fur and dirt. I wonder if, um... So my brother called me at work today. And, um... Of course I couldn't pick it up. I was at work and then I called him when I got home, and then he was in a meeting. So, too <laughs> fast. Sorry. I've got some licorice eggs, which are nice, and then I've got a piece of chocolate. But I'm going to be here for a while. I need some, I need some stamina as well. I had a meeting today at work, actually. Which was interesting. Um, these two boss men spent... How long did we spend? Two hours, yes, two hours discussing what's, what was in essentially the sentence we would like you to do the... Um, what is that called in English? The bookkeeping. Essentially, they told me and asked me, would you like to do the bookkeeping? This is the program we use to do the bookkeeping. Here's a tutorial. Here, have a shot at it. And I had a shot at it. They spent two hours. I don't know how they spent two hours. You know. Saying that to me. Getting that message across. It was beyond my understanding. <laughs> But um, essentially, they want me to do some of the bookkeeping for the company, which is nice. It's not much. It's just a couple of hours a week or so. Um, but I said, well, yeah, sure, I can do that. Easy peasy. Um, it's not probably not going to take to take me away from the reception much, which is where I would like to get away from. But it's a start, at least. Um, of something, hopefully. But it was just, it's just so funny how, how bosses can spend so much time on literally something that could be said in two minutes. Oh, here he is. Bookkeeping can go on the old CV skills. It can! And it will be. It will be on the, um, on the resume for sure. Even if it's just a couple of hours a week. And nothing, nothing. But apparently there's a calling that, that asks me to do the uh, those rare coins. So let's go and do that then. Not too bad. That's good to hear. I, yeah, I just, I just told chat how I was lifting boxes and how that was, that wore me out way more. And, and I, I got to watch my, watch 
a good series on my television when it was done. And then I I thought, <laughs> so I brought some some snacks and some red wine with me that I was supposed to have with my friends on Friday. When I arrived in the apartment, we had a lot of really good sushi and then we had some wine that I brought with me. But we didn't drink very much. So I thought, okay, I'm going to, I'm probably going to at least drink half of what's left this evening. I was shocked when I went to um, the bathroom at one point because, so I just, I just poured it into a cup. So I had maybe half a cup of wine and I was completely red on my chest, on my neck and in my eyes. I was just, you know, reacting allergically to this wine. I was flabbergasted. I, I've never experienced that. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just bring this, I'll just bring this wine back to my mom and she can drink it because I clearly cannot. So that was a bit of a, of a thing. So I continued just watching my series without drinking. And I must admit, I really, I realized how much I've missed being in my space and just relaxing on the couch and drinking tea and being around my things. I'm, I'm enjoying my time here, but I really need to find my own place relatively fast. I, I mean, the apartment itself, I slept so well in my, in my own bed, but the apartment itself, I haven't missed per se. Um, it's cozy, but the area is not so nice anymore. So it's fine that I'm moving, but I need my own space. Must have been an ingredient in the wine. Last thing you want is wine to poison you. I think it must have been the acidity of it. Because I have noticed that I get the same way with certain kinds of apples. If apples are very acidic or have a particular kind of acid in them, I guess. I react the same way. I get very, very hot. Like I'm eating curry or something. And I feel a little bit sort of swollen around my, my jaw which is not healthy, <laughs> which you should not. So usually I stop eating the apple when that happens. Same thing happens with pineapples. I love pineapples. I can't eat very much of them at the same time or in one go because I'll react the same way. So it must be some kind of pineapple acid, if that's the thing. The red reaction means the acid is dissolving you. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I... I don't know why I react like that. Okay, so that was Smorgas and Narissa. Then we got Corthia. Glad, glad hoy X Q T T. Hi, <laughs> welcome. You play Wrath of the Lich King on retail? I play both. I also play classic which I've done on a couple of, uh, a couple of streams. I am level 63 at this point, but today, oh, Horde, no, sorry, Alliance, <laughs> Alliance. Pineapples are very hearty. Hearty? Is this a pun? I'm supposed to understand. I love pineapples. Pineapples are my favorite fruit and it's the fruit I can eat the least of. So it's very sad. It's very sad. But yeah, I play a um, Night Elf Frosty K on Classic as well. Surprise. Surprise. So what I want to do here actually is I need something from Corthia. There is two mounts that the Death Advance still offer me. Um, that I still haven't gotten yet. And it's those teal ones. So it's the Barrel Shot Hide and the Fierce Razor Wing. And they are glorious and they are only in Death's Advanced Supplies. And it hasn't coughed any of them up, despite the fact that I've been in Corthia a lot. So we're just doing some Corthia things. Because, like, who doesn't want to go back to previous content and grind it out? 15 days for pre-patch? Oh, is that, has that been announced? Do we have a date? I mean, we, it might have been announced while I was at work. 
Whoever said an apple a day keeps the doctor away lied to us several times. <laughs> At least for me. I think an apple a day of the acidic apples is going to um, keep the doctor here every day. 25th of October. Oh, nice. I need to hurry up. I need to... Well, no. I actually plan to finish Twisting Corridors today. Not today. Um, this week. Today is a bit of a stretch. I won't, I won't be able to do that, probably. Scrap metal. A month later it releases. Okay, so 15 days to pre-patch. And then we'll have pre-patch for a month. That's a good time. I was a little bit worried that we'd only have pre-patch for two weeks. Because that's not a lot of time. I mean, of course it depends on... Um, on how much content they've added to pre-patch. But often the stuff you can get in pre-patch, cosmetics or amount or something, that has in the past been limited to pre-patch. So it would be a shame to not have the time to get that limited content. Pre-patch will be a month before the X-Pack is released. I mean, some did speculate whether it was going to be the 24th or the 25th. Um, also, you gotta... Could also be the 27th. Quit retail till Dragonflight after I got my Elite PvP gear. Well, a nice one. I would have loved to collect that as well. We were trying... Well, at least we were trying in the previous seasons, my friend and I, but um, I was tired this season. I was really tired, so I didn't actually get around to, to get it done. I was struggling with the motivation and I just wanted to chill. I love downtime. I mean, I love uptime, but downtime is the time where I can just go collect and your, your, your gear is so good that everything is easy. And you can just go collect your pet, you can like collect transmog, you can just run all content like this. And not really think about it, not really concentrate much. So I need a bit of that while gathering energy to really have a go at it when Dragonflight comes out. I I have planned to take not an all-nighter because I'm weak when it comes to my sleep. And I tell myself, oh, I'm going to take a night, an all-nighter, and then I don't, because I get tired at 1am or something. But I have planned to spend the majority of my day in the Dragon Isles and leveling my character and making a Draclia, because that's probably going to take five hours in itself. Beats having two minutes of pre-patch, it certainly does. Did we ever have two minutes of free patch? I don't remember how long. Did we get pre patch in stages in BFA? I just seem to recall something about that. Am I wrong? I just remember. Yeah, just remember. Fine, Shadowlands. Pretty boring myself as I reached my goals. Got my one mil honorable kill on my mains as well. One million? Wow, that is pretty good. I assume that PvP is the main content you play. Hate end of X packs. Uh, hard. Hard to make gold. Well, that, that is true. That is true. Everything is just being. Like, the prizes are so low in the auction house these days. It was a bit of a bummer when I had to go and sell all my callous <laughs> I'm running all instances for gold. That is also a good idea. Can you get... Um, did you get any epic? What do you mean? Only one pre-patch. No, I was just thinking whether it had pre-patch in stages. Or was that just the beginning of Shadowlands? 
No, that wasn't the beginning of Shadowlands. I remember the beginning of Shadowlands. I remember pre-patch there, which was a lot of fun. I actually loved running around Ice Crown. Um, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of the battle at Darkshore where Sylvanas burns Tildrassil and all that. I, f I seem to recall that was in stages. But am I wrong? I converted the callus hide into 362, 330 gear. Those were pretty decent for sales. I thought I saw you loot an epic. I did? No, that was just these, right? These cipher books. I don't actually need the, need the, the ancient, ancient, the catalog research. That's in beer for that, but that wasn't pre-patch. What was that then? I feel like you had sort of release of new content every week. If that wasn't pre-patch, was it, was it? Oh, that's so annoying that I can't remember that. What was that? It ended up... It must have been pre-patch because it ended up giving you the Teldrassil Hippogriff, which you can't get anymore. And the Undercity Plague Bat. Oh, what did I... I, lo I lost my corpse. <laughs> Actually, it's like hotcakes because of people leveling alt. I can't sell my epic piece of gear. Like, no one wants to buy it. My, uh, my BOE. That's really weird. Even when I push the price down on it. Maybe it's because it's braces? I need to just lower the price magnific magnificently. <laughs> that was the main story leading to the battle outside Orkman. But how come it was limited time for the mount then? Are we thinking of the same thing? Pre-patch for BFA has a story quest line and gave you a mount at the end of the burning of Tildrassil. So I am right. I th I seem to recall something about that, where you got you got the Undercity Bat as a horde and you got the Hippogriff as alliance. And it was it must have been pre-patch because that did that battle didn't continue on throughout BFA. I'm pretty sure. Repatch was the weapon you got after killing Nathanos. You're thinking You're thinking of Prepatch Shadowlands. I'm thinking of Prepatch BFA. Oh I'm needing more. Yeah, exactly, it did. It did have Nathanos. And he dropped some pretty awesome... Was it Warclaves? There's a button on my mouse that's failing. Slowly. I don't like it. I don't want to buy a new mouse. I don't think it's easy to get this mouse anymore. Because it's, it's technically an old, an old mouse. It's a G600 Logitech. And the resin ice crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I I recorded my first game footage during Shadowlands pre-patch. And it was really bad. I was just testing how it felt to record something, not through a program, but through my computer itself. I think I must have used my old Lenovo computer as well. So there was a function where you could screen capture. I didn't do it through OBS. I didn't know about OBS back then. But I wanted to just, you know, test the waters. How does this feel to record things? And I recorded people taking out 
stitch work. Stitch flesh. A big abomination in a cave in Ice Crown. And I think I might have also recorded a second time with a voiceover. Um, and it was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad listening to it. I didn't ever use it for anything. But I wanted to, again, just test out how does this feel? Is this really awkward for me? And that was probably my... Step one of the way to becoming a content creator was recording things and seeing how it felt. Do I still have... I might still have some of that old footage. Nothing much is happening. The quality is awful. The audio is awful. <laughs> it's, it's no good. It's useless. Burning of Tildrassil was part of the BFA main storyline. The pre-patch of BFA was in Legion where you lose your artifact weapon. 8.0 What was the burning of... The whole thing that went on in Darkshore where it was this time there was this battle going on and Malfurion actually showed a cool side of himself scaring the Horde senseless and you had this whole the making of some of the dark rangers where sylvanas kills some night elves and turn them into dark rangers she she raises them with the help of her valkyr when was that that's so annoying was it it was a limited time Was it um was it a patch release before before the battle for you know those the battle for Stromgard and the battle for Dark Darkshaw? Oh, that is so annoying. Because it was limited. You can't go and do that content anymore. You might be right. I'm getting confused now. <laughs> It can only be pre-patched, technically. I mean, more more needs to happen in pre-patch than just giving up your artifact weapon, right? So you give up your you give up your artifact weapon to neutralize the big sort in the middle of Silithus. But more must have happened. I like to forget B. <laughs> I can totally see me getting it wrong. I actually really liked B. F. A. It had some major weaknesses, but looking back, I thought it was a very cozy expansion. It had, it had some amazing leveling zones and some amazing characters, some amazing lore. The story of the Sandalari, the story of the Colterans, meeting some of the NPCs, Flynn, Fairwind. What's her name? Um, Princess uh, Talanji. Wanzamdi were amazing characters. And, and the, the whole quest line, the storyline of the quest line was amazing. The war effort, however, which was technically the max level content, was very weak, in my opinion. That was... That could have been so much grander. No, I want to join. I join. At least I got one of them. Compared to Legion, it was a myth. <laughs> it's a huge step down from Legion. It might have been, but you know how they also say that WoW has got the... the... 
you've got they've got the major expansions like Mists of Pandaria and Legion. And then you've got the filler expansions, which were technically Cataclysm, Warlords of Drain or BFA. Because it's sort of a let's just stuff some content, it's sort of a half hearted story while we focus on the next big expansion. That's the theory anyway. It's it's not something official, of course, but that's a theory. A quick Google in the Wowhead article for the BFA pre-patch event is the burning of Tildrassil. Okay. Okay, I'm not insane. That <laughs> I just remember that very clearly, how BFA was the first expansion I was around for from almost start to finish with very few breaks. Which is kind of impressive. Did I really have that much free time? That must have been when I was in Japan. You should not have that much free time during your master's degree, but I had. <laughs> so BFA started with the siege of Lordaeron. BFA has some horrible raids, though. I really like... So I was... The raids that I did in BFA... I never did all dear. I did the Battle of the Zara Law once or twice. The final boss was great. The fight with Jaina was great. Um, I have only done a few bosses in the Eternal Palace. Crucible of Storms have done once. That was meh. Nyalotha was great. Nyalotha was a really good raid, I thought. I had a great time. The aesthetics were amazing. The fights were cool. The final boss well, could have been a little bit more awesome, but overall, I thought Nyalotha was a great raid. What am I doing? I need one more of these. And then I probably need to check the fireplace. I can feel it getting... Who's making noises? Is that you, kitty? Or is it the mice? We have so far captured two mice trying to get into our waste bins. Um, they, they're still around. They haven't been on my on my working desk since the first night they were. I woke up in the morning and I found mouse droppings on my desk and I thought that was incredibly rude. Um, and then I went to bed the same night and I found mouse droppings on the table right next to my bed. And I thought that was even ruder. That was actually quite outrageous. And I don't know what they were doing there because I've, there's there's no there's no crumbs or anything on my bedside table. I don't know. Maybe I smelled of cheese. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. But um, that was that was quite something. And I was sure. I mean, that night I got very little rest because I continued to get woken up by mice. And I was sure I heard them. You know, not just on the ceiling, on the roof, on the, yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard it in my room, on my computer. I don't see any mouse droppings on my computer though, so that's good. <laughs> Ninja pooped. <laughs> um, clean your teeth while you sleep. No, I hope not. I mean... <laughs> Animals do it, but no thank you. That's not good. Mice can cause diseases. Um, at least it's not rats. It's fine. Um, I'm not I'm not too worried about that. They they haven't been there ever since. I am keeping an eye on them, and we do have mice traps, so we're putting those up. Um if it was a continuous problem, I would definitely not be sleeping in here. But so far it's been okay. They might have just been checking out the place. Is there anything to eat here? Dave, have you found anything to eat? So, when they realized there's no cheese on my bedside table, they've they've gone elsewhere. They've gone to the waste bin. Eternal Paz was not great. Nyalotha was too easy, was it? Nyalotha was the first time I really raided with with a raiding guild. They were quite good, um, but there was also a lot of pressure. 
for doing well. Um, and I had really, really lousy internet in Japan. So I felt very bad many times for, for disconnecting in dire situations. I thought I had a good time. I remember Vexiona being difficult. And I remember... Maybe it was too easy, actually. I remember Vexiona. And I remember... Mm. Raden also was a bit tricky at times. And I remember Dark Inquisitor Sanish wasn't particularly difficult. You just needed someone who was good at playing football, as we called it. It was the pizza and football boss. <laughs> it was pizza slices in the footballs. We finished the raid on Mythic and started clearing it for alts and carrying guildies. Vex and Assault were the two tricky ones. Football was fun. I remember I was so afraid I was going to mess it up when I was one of the ones who took care of the footballs because, as I mentioned, it was my first experience in a raiding guild. And I was very, very worried <laughs> that I would drop the ball. Nasoth was tricky because of the MC mechanics. I can't remember Nasoth very well because I think we cleared it twice. And then they wanted to start pushing Mythic because it was technically a Mythic raiding guild. And I had to drop out at that point because I felt so bad with my internet. It was just really bad. Um, but I remember you had to think about the up phase and the down phase a lot. That's what I, that's what I remember. Oh, tea. Tea is growing cold, oh no. Here we go. How much reputation do I currently need for Death's Advance? Uh, not much. Not much. Not 300. You can have this and this. And I need to visit some of these for the supplies because I don't exactly need the supplies but you get a really nice chunk of gold every time you turn it in and if you miss one turn in you won't get in you won't get two boxes so mm-hmm Too faster, was it? <laughs> Can't do that. Troubles at home. I should do troubles at home as well to have another chance at the necro ray egg. What else is on my list? Gotta go to Corthia on my hunter to see if it drops the Aqualon core today. So I'll do that next. And then. Then we to do the Shaw of Anger on at least one character. And then we do Stratholm. Gets biscuits and eats them while it's getting comfy again. I got no biscuits left. <laughs> I, I know that feeling. Sometimes if I want to have a really good breakfast, I will prepare a good breakfast. And I want to bring it with me to my room to have it um, while I watch some things. And I will eat the bread on the way to my room because I'm so hungry. So there won't be any bread left. So that's not good. <coughs> Sorry. It is getting cold. Hang on. I'm going to check the fireplace.
sorry <laughs> it's been checked i needed to put more firewood on it and yes that was that was a sneeze so thank you i'll have eaten half my breakfast by the time i get back to the laptop to watch something for breakfast do you know what's worse if is if you want to watch something for dinner you're not exactly sure what you want to watch but regardless you bring your dinner to the table with your laptop or your tv or what you're using and you spend so much time looking for what you want to watch that there's no food left when you find what you want to watch <laughs> that happens to me so often more often than I take it. No snacks for a film. By the time the starting credits are done, I've got no snacks left. That sounds like many people's trips to the cinema, doesn't it? Okay, that was that was the Court of Harvesters. As you can see, I got 3,500 gold out of that one. So that's times three. That's a pretty good chunk. Got to pre-pick something to watch whilst cooking dinner. That's that's what you got to do. Yeah, you're right. Have you guys watched House of the Dragon yet, by the way? Because I've been postponing it. Because I didn't really... I wasn't really sure I was interested. And you know how Game of Thrones ended. And I still felt a little bit bitter about it all and I thought no nah, I don't I don't have a particular desire to delve into that verse again and then some months went by and I went hmm okay well maybe if I want to delve into it I wanted to release a couple of episodes so I can binge it a little bit and I finally got around to my subscription for Netflix ran out and I started one for HBO and I started watching it and I <laughs> I'm obsessed. It's so good. The characters are so good. It's I just I almost love them all except except Alison. She's 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 dumb. I don't like her. She needs to go away. <laughs> Goes to the cinema, have a preemptive watch the trailers, the credits, realize I need it. <laughs> Um, that sounds like me traveling with my parents when I was younger. I had to go to the restroom all the time. And looking back, I think it was a reaction to some stress going on. And then my, my parents sort of morphed it into this funny thing where every time we'd gone somewhere, instead of getting annoyed, well, they were getting annoyed. I could feel the annoyance. But instead of continuing to be annoyed, they would then start to ask me, so... How many stars was that one? <laughs> they would ask me about the stars and the amount of skulls for each bathroom. Because some, particularly when we were traveling in Germany, the, the bathrooms would be getting stars. And then once we, we got back to Denmark, out of Denmark, the restrooms would be getting skulls. So like, how many skulls was that bathroom? But I just had to go to the bathroom all the time. When, yeah. I must have been so stressed. Uh, I'm not sure how many episodes into House of the Dragon last thing I remember. Was Smith brooding? <laughs> He's brooding all the time, isn't he? He is brooding. He is just this dark, grumpy, brooding character. I love him, actually. I've never been particularly interested in Matt Smith at all. Um, I haven't... I haven't watched many episodes of Doctor Who, and the ones I've watched were with, um, what's his face? Uh, what's his face? I know, David Tennant. So I haven't actually watched Matt Smith as acting much. I just thought he had a very big forehead. That's all I <laughs> thought of Matt Smith. But he is actually very good. Um, the Undying Army doesn't pop up one, but I should have one. Like, how high eyebrows is this supposed to be true? Oh my god. I haven't actually noticed that. Does he not have any eyebrows? Oh, that, uh, <laughs> I haven't thought of that. But I do think that they made a really good, a really good choice with the actors, particularly the two girl actresses in the beginning of the series. 
I think they are amazing. And while I do think that the grown-ups do a very good job as well, the the children, the well, they're not children actually, they're actually young women. The young women were just very good. They had amazing chemistry with their co-actors, I thought, at least. I've never seen him with any on. He forgets to apply them in the morning. <laughs> well, I I mean, some people just have very pale eyebrows. And while you can see my eyebrows on stream, they're actually very light. They're not that... They jump, don't jump out at you. And I know you can dye your eyebrows. You can color them with makeup. But I just can't be asked. And it looks weird. It looks weird. I've only a few times I've taken you like a pen to my eyebrows for a party or something. And it just looks so odd. I can't. I can't get used to it. I was going to jump out. <laughs> you know what I mean. Today, the weather, I was, you're always curious to see what is the weather going to be like on your birthday. It's very nice today. It's very sunny. It's actually not too cold, but it's stormy. It's so stormy. And you know, I thought that was actually quite fitting of the fact that this year has been quite stormy for me. My sister has pencil thin one makes her large. You you guys seem to have a a very interesting relationship. You're not very nice to each other, are you? I think my brother and I look quite alike. His his hair is a bit of a darker red tint than mine. And then of course he's male and I'm not. And then he's three times as big as I am. He's got broad shoulders and he's very tall. But other than that, I don't think we look quite alike. His head might be a bit bigger than mine. <laughs> now that I think about it. I've been thinking a lot about the kitten today. I um, I got this video of it. It's finally opened its eyes. And it's sort of... It looks very, very mad <laughs> in the video. They're in this box. And it's got a mouth that, go that goes like this. Just completely downturned while it's trying to get out of this box and it looks hilarious and I might visit it this this week as well to be uh, to be certain we might have a look at genders as well um, of the kittens we need to get a female so I want to visit them just to be certain that that's the one we're we're getting there is two dark ones um one has got a red face, which is adorable. And then the one I've looked at has got like half of a white face and a black nose. But I wanna, it's very difficult for me actually to go and visit kittens that are so small that they don't really have a personality yet, if that makes sense. I fall in love with personalities of animals less than the colors. One from the Twitter? If so, I would like one. It is from the Twitter photo. I put it up. It was just it was just babiest of baby in that picture. So it's gotten eyes now and it looks really goofy because just when they've gotten eyes, they they're sort of you know, um cross eyed. And as I mentioned, it looks very, very mad <laughs> to be to be trapped in that box. Just get me out of here. <laughs> I mean, I guess that is a personality trait. They look mad. So enjoy. Yeah, they were. Probably were. Um, also, you can't see the mother in the picture, so maybe it's it's looking for the mother. I 
I was very surprised this weekend because the area my apartment is in is very noisy. You've got a lot of people partying in the area and my mother dropped me off on Friday and you could just, you could see and you could hear people getting ready for parties and I thought to myself, I'm never going to get any sleep. But it was actually very, very quiet. I don't know what people were doing. Maybe they heard me coming home and thought, okay, <laughs> gotta get quiet. But yeah, so Friday my friends came over and we'd bought a lot of sushi. They 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 bragged that they can eat a lot of sushi, but I did eat more of them, more, more than them actually. And I had some leftovers for lunch for the day after. There's so much stuff in my freezer in my apartment. There is bread that I've frozen, there is butter, there is different meats, there is leftover leftover pie and whatnot. And this food is just sitting there and you can really see how I have left a daily life and expected to be back after the summer holidays, but I just never came back. My awesome happy birthday. Thank you, Pimja. Thank you very much. So I, I'm doing my best to sort of empty that freezer a little bit every time I, I go back to the apartment. Why must you attack the grill mitts, Bobo? I'm, I'm always curious about that. So, but it, it meant I had breakfast. It meant I had dinner which was leftover pie, and I had lunch. Although it was funny because I opened my fridge and there's not there was nothing that could, could go bad per se, but it did smell of something. And I realized it was, I had this bag of red onions. So the entire fridge just smelled of red onions, which meant that the butter I had sitting in the fridge also <laughs> tasted like red onions. <laughs> Not something you want for your breakfast in particular. Okay, one piece of Aqualon core, please. No. No. Well, on to the Sharvanger. An apartment much like the ship Mary Celeste. I don't know that ship. Was she... Was she full of food? <laughs> This Aqualon just does not want to drop. I've got to do some path ascension as well. Not today, though. Okay, no. I am going to log over to... I guess my priest. I could bring my priest. And I'm going to get up for a bit. Um, refill my um, snack plate. Check the fireplace and be back.
All right, I am back, and the fireplace needed a hand in getting started again, so it was good, good timing, I will say. I got some fresh tea as well. <laughs> See, I think I, I can drink it this time before it grows cold. What's in my mailbox? Did I sell anything? No, that was just myself. Hmm. Hmm. I was making some armor kits for a while, which sold relatively well, but I wonder what the prices are now. Anyway, I'm, I was going to the show of anger. We're going to see if a miracle will happen today, and then we're going to go into twisting corridors afterwards. I'm actually looking forward to that, believe it or not. I've had a good time in there because I've taken it a layer at a time then one layer then taking a break one layer then taking a break and often a break of a day so it's not been too overwhelming because otherwise i believe you can really burn out okay let's see that is too hot that, that, that tea is too hot now Like eating someone else's wedding cake. Eat Because <laughs> that's what you do, right? Eat someone else's wedding cake. So, can you guess who was very, very happy to see me when I came home last night? It was just me. I had the entire house to myself. And I'll have the entire house to myself in the autumn vacation. And I look forward to it. Just me and my cat. The mice. <laughs> No, there was actually, surprisingly, there was no mice in the traps. Which was really surprising to me, because we've had two in just 24 hours at one point. And now there's none. And I mean, they could just come, there was no one here. But they didn't. So I'm, I'm curious to, to see whether that was it. That was the mice that we were going to get this season. That it sort of... served as a warning sorry it was the house was shaking <laughs> um sometimes there is there's airplanes flying overhead so yeah, that might just be it no it was my cat who was very happy to see me um there was a bit of there was a bit of cleaning to do i will say um because i have yet to carry her big litter box up here so she's only got a small litter box and when set litter box seemingly is full well there was some cleaning to do that was the first thing I, I started doing when I arrived and then I gave her some food and she was just all about the cuddles she was having a great time lying in my lap while I while I watched um, a show and had dinner it was very cozy. It was very difficult to go to bed because she was just becoming completely liquid cat on top of me. She was really cute. She rarely, she rarely sleeps on me because I think she finds me too bony. So she filled it with love. She did. She indeed she did. And then of course the house. It wasn't too cold because the heater had been running at 15 degrees so it wasn't you know icy i turned that up and then i started the fireplaces to sort of it was it's mostly the walls that get really cold so when the walls are cold it takes a while to sort of heat it back up i was focusing on that so how many people do we have here today not too many so he might have been taken out just recently so there's a bit of a waiting game going on what should we talk about Oh we wait. Do you have any funny stories? <laughs> any jokes? I don't unfortunately have any continuation to the deer leg story as of yet. Um did anything else that was funny happen? I You know how we sometimes see see people walking with their phones out and they're walking in the forest or something and you 
mentally send them the message that they should probably focus on what's going on around them instead of on their phone. So I almost saw a, a girl walking into a branch yesterday on the bus. That was not to be mean, but that was kind of funny. She needed to. Like, forget your phone for a second. <laughs> Watch nature around you. Why else would you walk in the forest? Um... When you want to think of funny stories, you can't think of any. Surrounded by lovely nature. No, the phone comes first. I mean, I do sometimes myself look at my phone, but I tend to put it very far away when I'm out and about going for a walk because... I'm going for a walk because I want fresh air and I want nature and whatnot, so... It kind of ruins the purpose if I'm just looking at my phone. I'm also... As I get older... I would say I'm getting less and less dependent on the phone. It's it's less and less interesting for me. So I can I often also don't have the energy to answer messages. <laughs> See a message from my brother or my brother's girlfriend or a friend and I go I need to spend a few minutes texting back. I'm going to I'm going to wait. I don't have the energy to do so right now. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that I don't want to take my time for the person. It's just in that moment. I don't need to reply right away. I think <laughs> to myself. Getting old. Are you still in your twenties? I, well, yes, but I am undoubtedly getting older. Who was it who said this to me the other day? Oh yes, I was talking with my godfather on the phone. He was the one who called me around dinner time actually as I was as I was making some fried rice that's what I could find in the in the fridge to make yesterday evening and he says to me well tomorrow is your birthday I say yeah you are turning 29 right yes yeah I am well then you can still be called uh, what was it he say he said a young person he said you could you could still be called a young person but once you're 30 you're an adult people will expect you to be mature and knowledgeable and intelligent. <laughs> just like, excuse me? <laughs> well, just when I reach 30, I'm going to be 10 times as intelligent as I am now. Is that what you're <laughs> saying? 10 times as mature. You have now evolved. It's like a Pokemon. Your, your, what is it? Attack power, your defense and your special, special attack and your special defense, it goes up by 10. It's your birthday today? That should be expected at at 18. It is my birthday today, yes. I don't think I was very mature when I was 18. Well, I probably was mature for an 18-year-old, but I don't think I have come into my own until I was past the 25. When I look back, it was... You are stumbling your way through life in, in a way. Anatar, thank you so much for the gift subs. Happy birthday. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Congratulations, those who picked them up. Well, you know you're getting older when you drape your coat over your lawn. <laughs> like adult steps. Oh my goodness. I have actually done that a few times on occasion. And then I caught myself doing it. And I thought, no, no, not going to do that. Because my dad does it all the time. And I thought, you just don't go there yet. You, I'm not ready to to be that age where I drape my jacket over my shoulder. Oh dear. Well, yeah, so you are stumbling your way through life in your teens. Mostly, like, your late teens and your early 20s tend to be quite hard because you're, I mean, you're getting close, but it still feels very far. It's, it's, it's a weird age. You're really, you're, you're starting to think you found yourself and then you're faced with some challenge or a wall. And then you think you found yourself on the other side of the wall, but no, there's more challenges and you really learn so much because you're, I mean, you're independent in that stage. Um, you're moving out. Okay, so no, 
dragon. I only got a neck piece. The malevolent gladiator's pendant of meditation, which I don't really need. Shall we try again? <laughs> it can be a cool look, though. <laughs> it can be. I mean, my dad has got this leather jacket, and it's pretty cool when he does it. But it's just... We already look quite a lot like each other. And you think to yourself, if I walk next to my dad like this, does he look like a young woman or do I look like an adult man? I don't really know what's better. <laughs> there are always challenges. There are always challenges and we're never going to stop evolving. We're never going to start growing, which I think is very good. I I would probably say I'm kind of addicted to growing, if that makes sense. While I search for, oh, Brufus is gone. While I search for stability and sort of a, a, a place I can call my home, I also always look to grow as a person. Oh, this transmog is magnificent, isn't it? <laughs> I had, it just gave me something random. Oh, I should, I should finish this. Is this a good look? That's actually quite a cool look. I should finish the, the Path of Ascension one for the dark, for the dark look. Okay, which bow did I use with that one? Just, I still have the, why can't I transmog my feet? What am I wearing? I'm wearing the proof as boots. I would like to have my boots back. Thank you very much. <laughs> Is there anything else Brewfest I'm still wearing? No, it should be good. It was just the boots for some reason. Curious. Why was I wearing the boots? I probably forgot to change it after I got the transmog. I'll just go with this set for a bit, actually. And I'll go with a different, give a bit of a more look to it. There we go. What am I doing with this character? I still have some campaign quests. I wanted to do something in this character. Let's just go check out the Shah of Anger. Lives all downhill from conception. <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a, I, I wouldn't actually agree with that, I think, after all. After all, I do think it's, it's always up and down in life, though. But if you didn't have the downs, the ups wouldn't feel as great as they do. So that's how I try to look at it. I can switch out my Brufus scope now. It's literally since before conception, you didn't exist. <laughs> That's the height of your life, is that <laughs> conception. It doesn't begin a conception, it's just a collection of cells. <laughs> okay, let's check. Let's go. I wanted to say something with that. I mean, I believe at this point, even though there's, there's, there's so much I feel like I should have done at this point in life, when I look back, I don't think I could have done things faster. I think the the points in my life that needed to happen for my development, <laughs> they could not have ha happened faster. Well, maybe these past two years could have happened. No, maybe they couldn't have, actually. They couldn't have, now that I think about it. Where was I before I was born? That is actually, if you think about that, if you think about past lives, that always really messes with my brain. Because I tell myself, I'm pretty sure I haven't lived before then. But then you sort of dig a little bit at, a, at this. It feels like a kind of a wall in your memory, if that makes sense. And you go, but I can't know. I can't know if I've forgotten. It's really weird. It's, it's, I can sit and think about those two sentences 
for a long time without getting anywhere because I'm never going to be able to remember whether I have lived before or not. If I live again, though, I would like to not be a human. I would like to be some, something simple. I don't... I could be an eagle. I could be a butterfly. I could be something that doesn't live too long and something that's a very simple life. I would like to just be filled with animal instinct. Eat, sleep, uh, make babies. <laughs> you know? Funny, I found you through your awesome YouTube videos, but wanted to follow when you're live. Now I got a gift sub. Hello there and cheers. I love your content. Thank you so much, Lord Ceres. Welcome. And congratulations on your gift sub. That's lovely. And I'm very glad you like the YouTube videos. If you can't remember, it doesn't exist. But that's that's the thing. Like your memory must have been wiped. Eat, exist, reproduce. That sounds like a nice life. It does, doesn't it? Eat, sleep, exist, reproduce. <laughs> you know, it's just so simple. I would like, when I'm done living this life, I would really like to live something simpler. I, I, I don't like thinking this much. <laughs> I think that's going to be the end of us. Thinking and worrying and overanalyzing. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm already tired. I'm not th I'm not 30 yet, but I'm already tired. If you can't remember, does it even matter? What if we're going there? I mean, it doesn't technically matter. That's why it's not something I often think about. But if I do start to sort of itch that wall, it gets weird. I'd like to be a pack animal. <laughs> like a nice bull or gazelle. Uh, does if it's where you park the car. <laughs> Let me be a cat or something. Just being a jerk to my human slaves and eat and sleep all day. That is nice. Although the thing with the cat is, that's just for me. I think they live too long. I would like to not live too long next time. I don't know why I think that. Maybe it's just because... Maybe it's because I think it would be nice to experience many things, although you can't remember what you've experienced beforehand, but also because so many, <laughs> like, the world is kind of falling apart, isn't it? And I would like to not stick around to see it end. I would like to just end before it ends, you know, and then... But then again, wouldn't it be kind of awesome to experience being smooshed by a meteorite or blown up by a volcano? I don't know. Is that is that dark? <laughs> the reason why I said I'd like to be a male is pack environment. It's like a lion in a pride. Mm. I think it would be easier to be a male as well. If I could choose, I would be a male. Because... The whole reproducing thing is just... must be such a hassle. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I don't particularly want children, so... But if you... I mean, if you're something like a... Um, like a toad or a bird, it's just eggs. So I might be on board with that. <laughs> I'll go for an... A moeba? Is that a is that a fish? <laughs> is that a fish or is it a bacteria? I can do what I didn't do this life. Single celled organism <laughs> would be nice. Oh, you could be a virus. Be pretty cool to be a virus. Just invade living organisms and multiply take him out <laughs> take him down again i'm going a, maybe i'm going a little bit dark with that <laughs> no in all honesty if i if i could pick sort of from an enjoyment perspective i would really like to be a big bird an eagle or a raven or a crow or something 
because they've got really strong wings and being able to fly would be really awesome. And they don't really have any natural enemies. Instead of an amoeba, I'll be a sticky lemon-filled bun. That's not a living organism, is it? <laughs> it's just, if we're being, being just semi-realistic here. <laughs> It'll be a sweet life, come on. <laughs> You are sleeping so much, cat. I thought she'd been in that bed ever since I left this morning, but I can see that she ate all of her food. She must have been so hungry because last night I gave her I have these little bags of food. I must keep an eye on actually when she's getting more, more food delivered. I ordered another box of cat food, but I give her these bags of food and I typically give her two a day and she'll come and nibble at them like throughout the day and I gave her one last night and she almost devoured the entire thing and then she was knocked out cold this morning she came and, and she greeted me and um, it seemed like she was asking oh you're still here you're still here <laughs> you haven't left again so she came and she um she joined me for a little bit in my bed and then I went to work and when I came home from work she was still in my bed however she had eaten all of the food that I gave her before I left for work. So it's, as you say, Anna's house, she was definitely a food coma. It looks to be an orca. The oceans are deep and undiscovered. That would also be rather cool. I wouldn't mind being an orca. Being, being an orca. An orca or one of these, um, like a whale shark. They are so graceful. I mean, you're kind of sh slow, but it's just, you're just slowly cruising through the water very calmly whale sharks are eaten by orca packs really i didn't think they had any natural enemies orcas are merciless a plastic carrier bag looks cool though they they get to go everywhere you you're kind of right and you will never disintegrate you will never get destroyed you will just flow in the wind orcas eat everything great whites gray whale calves super pods have been known to attack blue whales damn they are aggressive creatures aren't they i did read an article um or i read i didn't read the article i skimmed it um about a pack of orcas that had um, attacked a great white shark, and that's pretty badass. Except to humans. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Because you you assume the worst with those orcas because you've seen them attack anything, but not really humans, ever. So there's no reason for humans to be afraid of them. No fat, yeah, that, that might be it. Right. Okay. I love this moose, by the way. This is such a cool mount. Um, James Corden doesn't have enough plots. <laughs> okay, let's see. Second attempt of this today. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Or will I get another necklace? There we go. And, yep, yeah, we hit it. I can back off. Oh, that get ugh, gives me such a shock when I get <laughs> this achievement. Ugh, darn it. Well, that was that. Let's go do some twisting corridors, shall we? Because that's what we've been looking forward to today. So, um, since my parents are getting home rather late, we were discussing what to do <laughs> Your thing. for the birthday dinner and whatnot. And before the invited guest, it sounded amazing. I got this idea for just, um, what's it called? A charcuterie, kind of? 
So my parents are driving past this sort of delicacy kind of store. Not delicacy per se, but they've got some really nice French and Italian things, like really good cheeses, really good sausages, um, really good olive oils and wines and chocolates, like high quality things. So they'll be bringing back, I've got this favorite Chianti sausage that they'll bring back, it's an Italian sausage. They'll bring back good Parmesan and good Comte cheese. And then they bought some really nice bread as well. And then I hope there's going to be some better wine than that wine I had in the weekend. And maybe I'll do a salad. I think I'll do a salad, actually boil some edamame beans and slice up some cabbage and some carrots and I'll make a salad on the side. That would be nice. And then my mom is making a traditional, boring, boring, layered birthday cake, which is going to be <laughs> sponges bought in the store, powder, <laughs> custard cream, homemade jam, and whipped cream. And this is what she always made for my brother and I on our birthdays when we were kids. And I mean, it's no big cooking feet or anything but it's just it tastes like birthdays it tastes like like childhood so she's gonna make that for me for for dessert so I look very much forward to tomorrow I do look forward to tonight of course but it's gonna be guests so it's not it's gonna be as cozy as I was hoping but tomorrow there's going to be leftovers and there's going to be leftover cake and I'll be home at half past one and I'm gonna play wow potentially finish Twisting Corridors and watch some series and eat cake. I started re-watching House of the Dragon from the beginning again and I might actually watch Game of Thrones again. I'm I'm thinking I might. Or is there anything else on HBO I should watch? Do you have any recommendations? I'll let you do the Twisting Corridors. You can have that it needs to be done. It really needs to be done. Whale sharks are very beautiful, though. Swam with one of the Philippines. Oh, that sounds amazing. I would love to try that. I actually find sharks very, very fascinating. Although you can you can argue that a whale shark is more whale than shark. I find them very beautiful. When I was out trying to find thrushes. Sounds delicious. Did you watch Sandman? I haven't. I didn't. And that was actually one of my regrets because I recalled when the Netflix subscription ended, oh gosh darn it, I was going to watch Sandman. But now I'll wait at least a month um, because I don't want to subscribe to to two streaming services at a time. That's ridiculous because I won't be watching... Um, two things at the same time anyway, so. Look, sharks are harmless. Yeah, they are. Unless you bleed. Just watch Lily. No, no. I will not, because I have had an incident. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not going to, wa to mention any time periods or anything because it could get me in trouble but there was a time um, during my teenage years when I think everybody was watching stuff illegally and <laughs> there was this kind of great purge sort of thing where I don't know what streaming company it was but it must have been some kind of streaming company that hired a company of lawyers to really purge to purge a certain illegal streaming site, I think. So there was a lot of sending out of letters, threatening, not threatening letters, but, you know, letters that, that are making you aware that they know what you're doing. And I got one of those letters and it freaked me out. So I've never watched anything illegally again.
except for some really large tiger, bull, great white, and hammerheads. <laughs> just some of them. Just some of them. I'm totally in love with Suits at the moment on Netflix. I have been recommended that one as well. Although I, I w started watching it at some point, and I think I watched the first one and a half episode or something. I don't know why I didn't continue watching it. Might have been distracted. I might have been into something different at that point because I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it, but my brother recommended it to me as well. So you're not the first one. I might give it another shot. I do typically like this kind of lawyer sorting out mysteries kind of kind of series and movie. I quite, I quite like those. You did five years in prison for watching stuff illegally. <laughs> no, I didn't go to prison, Ricasso. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I nothing happened. Nothing happened. But I did get um. I did get scared. And um, I did had have to consult some people around me to um for some advice on how to tackle the situation. What was the best thing to do in the situation? But yes, I I got. I got a scare. I've never dared to do anything like it again. I also never finished the series that I was watching legally. It's like, nope, nope, nope. This this series has brought me nothing but misfortune. And I remember I was quite bitter about it because it was not my idea to start washing things illegally. I do think it was it was kind of something you just did. That website was very well known. And I think my friends had shown it, or some of my classmates. So I was kind kind of angry at them. <laughs> Look what happened to me. There's too many different subs to get be nice if they were all in one place. I completely agree. That's why, I mean... They must be really fighting these companies amongst each other to get the rights for a show or a movie. Okay, so I can never... Never mind. There is one of these that goes the opposite way, and I can never figure out how to get through. I will say, I don't... I've had Disney Plus once for a month, and I was not too impressed by it. It's got the Marvel things, which are nice, and it's got the original Disney movies, which are also nice if you want to watch those. That's kind of it. Whereas I feel like HBO is where you go if you want really high quality shows. You've got the Game of Thrones, you've got your Westworld. That's at least the impression I get. Whereas Netflix is a little bit, they've got really high quality shows like The Sandman, and then they've got utter, utter garbage. Um, and then they've got a lot of different... Um, Oh, my brother's calling me. Should I pick up? I'm going to I'm going to pick up. He's going to be mad if I don't pick up. Hang on.
sorry, <laughs> I'm here. Um, and you probably can't do lip reading because that was all in Danish. So un unless you speak Danish, of course, then you might have been able to lip read. It was, um, he was at work still. He is a very hard working guy, actually. He's very much more work is life <laughs> than, than, he, than I am. I'm very much working to live kind of philosophy. Oh God, I need to, I need to check the fireplace. Hang on. Sorry. 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 Ready. Sorry. <laughs> no, no more disturbances for a while. I, I hope I can't, I can't promise there's not going to be a carpenter because he still hasn't fixed my windows. This carpenter, I mean, he, he came by while I was streaming to measure the windows and nothing has happened since. I don't think that was his job. <laughs> I think his job is not just to measure the windows. It is to actually make some windows to go on top on of my windows. So it doesn't get so cold here. So, I mean, it would be good if he came by, but awful, awful timing to put up new windows. So that's the only thing that could interrupt me. There's not going to be any family members showing up because they have been invited for tonight and I have locked the door. <laughs> I don't want any uninvited guests. I only want the invited guests that I would have not liked very much to invite, but they are invited regardless. <laughs> like a birthday visit from a carpenter <laughs> is traditional. <laughs> Everybody gets a carpenter visit on their birthday. Mm, I don't... Mm, I hate it when it's... My size increases. Fine. Fine. I mean, he might become by for a cake. For a cake, with a cake. So I told my brother about the move that my mother pulled with the guests and he goes exactly as I said, well, that's because mom is so different from you. And she is with the polar opposites. She gets energy from social gatherings. And she thought might have thought it would be nice for me, but for me, it's, I mean, I get energy from not being social. And, um, and then I told him of my plans of eating cake and relaxing tomorrow and he said <laughs> that that was a brilliant idea my brother and i are also quite different but we agree on one main thing and that is the love of cake <laughs> though his might actually no his love might not be bigger than mine but his appetite is certainly bigger than mine cake made of wood though the decoration. Oh my goodness, that reminds me. I don't know why that reminds me, but this is a story of when I was quite young. And for my birthday, I would always want to get this. I don't think you can get it anymore, but it was an ice cream cake with, um, it was vanilla ice cream and marzipan ice cream. maybe also strawberry ice cream in layers. And on top, it would be decorated with little, little chocolate ribbons. And then in the middle, there would be a mass pen rose. And of course, the birthday child would get the, the mass pen rose. And there was one year I always had a really hard time eating this rose because it was beautiful 
And there was one year where I saved this marzipan rose and used it as decoration. So I put it in on my windows <laughs> instead of eating it. I put it under my windowsill. And my, I mean, my parents didn't say anything to it. So it was sitting on, on this windowsill for I don't know how long. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even think about eating it. It was decoration. I was saving this. So we were sitting in my window, gathering dust and just, you know, shrinking and becoming more and more dry. My brother, he is three years younger than I am. So I might have been six or seven years old, which makes him three or four. And one day he makes his way to my room, possibly hungry. And he sees this marzipan rose on the windowsill in the sun. And he eats it. He eats this, this dry, dusty marzipan rose. And I am furious. And my parents are obviously disgusted because this thing is probably not very edible at this point. Where did this go? There it is. But that was just hilarious. And I'm sorry, brother, I had to tell that story. <laughs> I had to. You both shouldn't your brother. I was furious. I didn't ask him to eat it. I, I very, very likely would have not wanted that marzipan rose to be eaten ever. So... What happened was I never saved those moss pen roses anymore. I never left them lying around on my windowsill. I just ate them. But I kind of missed that cake, actually. I, I'd completely forgotten that existed. That was a very good ice cream cake. I will say it didn't beat my own ice cream cake. There was one New Year's. I had my friend over... And we were basically cooking all day. We made sushi. We made a batch of tempura. Um, tempura is... <coughs> excuse me. Is a Japanese batter. And you put all sorts of things in it. You put vegetables in it. And then you put shrimps in it. And on occasion also fish. So we'd made all these kinds of... We had sweet potatoes. We had aubergines. We had shrimps. We had cauliflower I think we made tempura um, things out of that as well and then I had made because this it needs to sit for a while I had made an ice cream cake for dessert which was a digestive biscuit button like a cheesecake and then I had taken really good ice cream i had bought vanilla strawberry and nougat and i had you know i had melted it a little bit not melted but softened it and then put it into a layer and then frozen it and then softened a different different type of ice cream put that into a layer and then put it in the freezer so it was a long process actually but that was really good. If you make a, a, an ice cream cake with good ice cream, it's just, there's nothing better. I think I did decorate it with, with some chocolate as well. That was a good New Year's. That's my favorite New Year's. Every time New Year's comes around, I am torn. Because part of me thinks I should not sit around by myself for New Year's. I should I should go to a party of some of some sort. It's New Year's. You you gotta see people, you gotta see multiple friends and eat some good food and drink some champagne. But the other side of me is just like, I just wanna sit here eating sushi, drinking champagne by myself, and play WoW and watch the fireworks and <laughs> on midnight. Um and, I mean, last year was very nice. Last year I spent with my brother and his girlfriend. It was very cozy. But that new year, just with my friend, with tons of really good food, 
it just stands out to me. And there is going to be one year where I try to be by myself on New Year's and not go anywhere and just have sushi by myself and watch television and go to bed early. I'm going to try it at some point and I'll probably dis be disappointed, but then I won't be torn anymore. That's done good. I've not been a big fan of New Year's Eve, I'd rather go to bed early. Exactly! I hate the fact that I actually have to stay up late because I, I'm just sleepy. <laughs> I get sleepy. Okay, speaking of, now I'm actually getting hungry. So if after this twisting corridors, I really have to go get myself something to eat. Piece of bread, maybe. Or something. I bought home. I brought home my favorite bread. I found half a bread of this, half a loaf, in my freezer in my apartment and brought it with me. It's my apple sourdough bread. And I honestly need to eat it before it goes bad in the in the freezer. Because, I mean, it doesn't quickly go bad in the freezer, but if you leave it for way too long, it does get very dry. And there was a different kind of a bread I took out as well during the weekend, which is my regular sourdough. And that was quite dry. It was quite dry. Hey guys, happy birthday, awesome. Thank you, Broly. Hello. Thanks for stopping by. Gone to a few uh, New Year's parties, but always been sober at them, so maybe that might be the problem. I am of the belief that if you can't have fun sober, it's really not worth it. I mean, in the sense that, that you shouldn't have to be drunk to have a good time. If you're, if you're not having a good time when you're sober, then it's a boring party or you are surrounded by some boring people honestly, then just don't be there. I don't want to ever be in a position where I feel forced to drink to have a good time. That's never for me the right answer. Is this a trap? Yes, I thought it might be. These are really creepy, actually. They're probably the, the creepiest creatures I think you can meet in Torghast is these ones with the leer going forward. A frontal attack. It's, it's, it's really creepy. I haven't picked up any of my favorite anima powers yet. Okay, halfway. We're officially halfway. Floor nine. <laughs> it is twisting corridors layer five and i must admit i haven't felt it getting harder it's been very much Ooh. what fire it's been very much the same since layer one all right let's go What's the layer of this one? I think, I think the layers aren't too bad so far. I've been pretty, pretty good. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not going to free all these souls. <laughs> what if I'm speed running this? Okay. What have you got? Hunger stone. Um. I would like that, and I would like that.
worst New Year's party was wanting to go to sleep at 4 a.m. but being made to continue to play Cluedo. <laughs> I haven't, still have no clue how to play it. Oh, I don't think I've played it either, ever. What's been my worst? Oh, I had, I've had some pretty awful New Year's Eves. Um, we had a friend group in high school. And I mean, I got along quite well with them, but some of the people in the friend groups also had friend groups from the city that they lived in. And so we had been invited to, well, it was one of the people in the group, one of my friends, his place. And then he'd invited his friends from that city. And most of the rest of us in my friend group had nothing in common with this guy's friends. And there was just nothing to talk about. Literally nothing. It was just, it was very awkward because we were very sort of separated because we had nothing to talk about. We had nothing in common. And I just remember many of those nights as being not particularly bad, but just boring. Where it's probably the, one of the reasons why I these days always ask myself, don't you want to just be by yourself? Just go to bed early, not go anywhere? Because I've had so many parties that were just boring. Oh no. Oh no. Where's my internet? Where's my internet? What's going on? This stream, this internet is all over the place at the moment. It's going from 900 KB per second to 10,000 KB per second. It has dropped quite a fair bit. Why is it so low? been so fine so far. I'm going to see if it will recover. Being a really close eye on it because I wanted to restart WoW to see if that helps. But um, it's a really bad timing <laughs> in Twisting Corridors at the moment. Blame, I blame children gobbling the internet up coming home from school. You might be onto something there, actually. It's back to 2000. But... I'm going to see if I can rush this. Even more. And I am. That was very weird. Um, it could be anything usually, um, in this area, because it could be the strong winds, it could be the storm, it's my fault for bringing this weather, but that was an incredible spike. It really went from, I've never seen it go up to 10,000. <laughs> it's been no reason for it. It's paused the game, duh. I've been, been playing the, um, Dragonflight beta. No, I haven't, because I never got in. I never got in. I don't know why, because I've been playing the game since Classic, sort of on off, but my account is very old. So I'm I'm actually kind of puzzled why I never got in, but, you know, just means I will be positively surprised. I'll be, I'll be experiencing everything for the first time once, once the game it's released. Speaking of the game, actually, I am still trying to get Blizzard Gear Store to fix my address on my order. I finally got through to them. They didn't reply to my first email. 
And then I tried chatting with them. And I think they they just thought no 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 sir no miss, because or some like no one was at work because they never replied to me and they kept they kept saying it was because of delays and everyone was busy and then they just pushed me out of the chat. Um, then I got an email from them where it said, well, if you have any more inquiries after this like thread, you're welcome to to ask him here. And then I asked them to change my address, to which they replied, we cannot change an address to an order that's already gone through, um, but we can cancel it and then you can make a new one. And I said, yes, please, let's hurry up and cancel it because I want to re-pre-order the collector's edition before it sells out. And they're just, nothing is happening. I got the last email from them Wednesday last week and I haven't heard from them. Should I be surprised? In I feel like what will happen is that eventually I will have to go back to my apartment and be there when it arrives because they will never get around to cancel the order. And they will never get around to allow me to make a new one with the correct address. It, it will end up with me actually having to sit outside that apartment, regardless of who lives there, and wait for my parcel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Could you have uh, the post office forward all your posts from today onwards to your parents' home? Um, I, they don't do that anymore. They don't do that forwarding service anymore. The post is be has become incredibly bad in Denmark. So you can't actually have a forward address anymore. I have read somewhere. Um, you can get, what was it? There is an option um, to do something where you can, um, I mean, the only option is to to actually tell the place that your stuff is shipping from to send it to a different address and not, not your address, not just under your name. Um, but that's too late with this one, right? You need some royal mail, like here in the UK. We do. I that's is actually one of the things I miss the most about Japan. They had an amazing postal system because they have allowed the different postal companies to compete. They have made it sort of a, a free market, so to speak. But here in Denmark, the main shipping service has actually been saved by the government before um, and they won't really allow as much of a free market so so basically what happens is that the postal office uh, the postal services that are around are awful because you don't have that sort of the market competition as you would otherwise have so that's very nice <laughs> Oh no, these ones, it's Mort Regar, it's Mort Regar. <laughs> okay, well, at least it's Mort Regar and not the upper reaches. I will take Mort Regar, I think. Ugh, oh, this looks like it's <laughs> mm. Well, I need to see what happens, honestly, um, if there's any way to solve it otherwise. I didn't expect it to be that difficult. There's also one thing that, that sorts of... One other thing that it messes with, and that's the fact that I'm actually in the middle of changing banks, because I'm moving, right? And I can't do that until I've sorted this thing out with with the Blizzard gear store because they can't refund the money 
from the first order if my account doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here patiently, impatiently, waiting for them to fix it, please. Soon, please. Rob banks, not change banks. <laughs> what was it? Oh yeah, um, it's got nothing to do with robbing banks, but my friend was kind enough to to send me some in-game presents, and one of them is a personal world destruct, <laughs> and I really like that. It's a toy. It's a toy or a pet, I think. It just, it just felt like I saw that and I thought to myself, yeah, we all need that sometimes, several times during our lives. Can I just sneak past this dude? Just quickly. I just want to sneak past this dare devil. That That's all devil. Okay, I think it's stabilized again. I think the internet is stabilized. I wonder what that was. That was very weird. Right. <laughs> Look at my two companions. I don't feel so lonely anymore. Ghoul and Kevin Zoozling. I hear noises. I'm, I'm going to assume it's just the fireplace and the walls being warmed up. I got a little bit freaked out momentarily last night when I was by myself, just because I thought I heard a sound, but you hear so many sounds in old houses. It's most of it is just the building. Most of it. Some of it might be the, uh, the deer without a leg. Probably you got a dodos attacked by a group of eco DDOs. Oh, I suddenly, suddenly thought of the old high school parties I used to go to. I think at this point you've probably gotten a pretty good impression of me being a bit of a hermit. I don't like parties, I don't like big social gatherings, I like my friends, I like to have few of them, close ones, not a lot of friends. Um, and I just thought of all these high school parties I went through <laughs> during my high school days, um, and how much of a challenge it was. We, we used to have these pre-parties with with some of my classmates, which were actually quite nice. I used to like the pre-parties. We would play games and have some drinks, and then we'd go to the to the school party. And the school party was just, it was noisy, everybody was dancing. <laughs> it, was, it was the worst. <laughs> Every single time I would try to dance and see if I liked it, never once. Never once did I like it. And every time I just wish I was on one of my couch watching a movie. I really do like movies. I really do like being cozy. Um, I miss my pizza nights in my apartment. I used to celebrate hard times, if that makes sense. Celebrating tough times instead of mulling over them and being sad, I would 
one of the best nights in my apartment in recent times was when I finished a training for a month in an engineering company. I had the worst boss I've ever had. He was childish and unhelpful and he wouldn't tell me anything. He expected me to be head of marketing and he wouldn't tell me anything. It's very difficult to market a company when you don't know anything. Um, and I had expected him to offer me a position there and I had expected to say no. So when I finally had that talk with him and I said no, I went home and I bought a deep pan pizza and soda. I never drink soda. And I ate it. <laughs> and it was just such a nice celebration. <laughs> such a nice night. Like what happened to Blizz when Overwatch 2 came out. Oh, I remember that. That was not a good, not a good time. Not a fan of dancing at parties. Rather have a laugh with friends. Exactly. I would as well. And that's... That's why it was also, I mean, it was always really difficult to laugh with friends at those big high school parties because it was so noisy. You know, there was loud music and the only place where you could technically have enough quiet to talk was outside. And outside was cold. <laughs> you couldn't stay there for very long. I don't go to parties, it gives me a headache. That too. That too. That was the only thing. But at least you've got a good excuse. I've got sensitive hearing. Would you like to go to parties, though? If you could. I mean, I had one of my one of my friends in that friend group. She loved dancing. She loved parties. And, I mean, I thought that was, that was great. She had a great time. It was a joy to watch her. But I just was glad it was... It's not, not my thing. We all have our tastes and favorite activities. No way, crowds. You and I, both. Um, I was, when I was at work on Friday, we were actually, I, I had kind of been looking forward to it because we had this major event in the city um, where there was a tourist bus going around and... We were a lot of a lot of workers were at work at the same time because it was sort of all man on deck kind of situation. No, I died. Oh dear, only four deaths left. I gotta focus a little bit. Um, all man on deck. All men on deck. And what was I gonna say with that? Oh yeah, so that meant I had been looking forward to it, thought it was going to be cozy. It was just stressful because there was way too many people in the office and it was just too crowded. And so it was not very nice for me and I was very happy when I could go home relatively early. It was the same day when I went back to my apartment. So it was a very busy day and it was just a relief to be able to leave early because I had to, to catch some transport. Get the drinks in, in, would ya? I got sensitive bank account. <laughs> and I hate trance, hip hop, etc. I agree with you. Um, I don't know what trance is, but hip hop music is not for me. And basically everything that's on the radio, with a few expect, uh, with a few exceptions, I dislike. Okay, let's see if I can get them out this time without being blown to bits there we go mm, that one okay lots of mobs here who can i avoid i have to take this one my friends call me a classical snob i i would take that as a compliment I don't listen to much classical music myself, but I can appreciate it. And my grandparents used to listen to a lot of classical music. 
I'm more of a the rock classics kind of person. Did I tell you guys how when I couldn't sleep at night when I was a child, I was a baby mostly, um, instead of, you know, trying to lull me to sleep the traditional way, my dad would take me on his arm and, okay, I'm going to focus a little bit here. Because these are quite nasty. Another reason why I really dislike Morgan. Oh. There we go. It's also because we got these Might of the Upper Reaches. Um, so he would take me on his arm and take me down to the living room. And he would put on one of his LPs with CC top. <laughs> and that's how he got me to fall back asleep. That's how he calmed me down. <laughs> Which I love. It says so much about him. It's, it's a story that it never gets... It never gets old. It never gets boring. It's always a good story. Mm. Listen to classical music and other stuff. Classic music is the ultimate form of music. Do look rock music. I... One of my best experiences, mem most memorable experiences, was going to a Green Day concert with my dad. Um, on my birthday, actually, it's, it's 2010, so it is 12 years ago. It was such a good time. And he had, I mean, he hadn't minded listening to Green Day up until that point. But after going to that concert, he was... He really liked their music. He was quite fond of them. Hmm. It is getting a little bit tough here. Actually, it's not just a breeze anymore. These bosses pack a punch. I need to pick up some more anime feathers, it seems. If one want to not get smushed. Um, empower your weapon. Yeah, we're taking that one. What's your favorite band? I don't I don't have just one. It's also because um, it sometimes changes depending on their development as a band, as a group. I loved Muse for a very long time. But I haven't actually listened to their recent albums much because the sound changed in direction I didn't particularly like. I really liked Origin of Symmetry. I really liked... Um, oh, what's that one called? The ones with Knights of Sidonia. It's the red desert cover where they're sitting around a table in the desert. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Um, and I used to listen a lot to Green Day, but again, I haven't listened to their recent albums. Um, I really am very fond of Nightwish. And I'm very fond of... Well, I used to be very fond of a... Is sort of an orchestral metal group that's called Within Temptation. It's a Dutch group. Their recent albums have become a lot more popish, though. So I don't really. Black Holes. Black Holes is the one. Absolution, I think, is the is the previous one. Um, with this the bluish cover. But Black Holes was a really good album, yeah. Um and then I really like Pose of the Fall, which is, it's hard to describe what that is. That's a Finnish? No. No, it's not Finnish. Is it Finnish? I 
I would like to say it's a Finnish group. And it's... They've got very rockish numbers, but then they've also got kind of ballads. It's kind of odd, actually. The idea of rock music is a lot older. Oh yeah, you've got the old classics as well. Um, Deep Purple and... I used to quite like Leonard Skinner. Not so much again anymore, not so much sort of in recent. My dad listens to this group called Araya Heap. I don't know, it might be quite obscure. I love that. That's very good. I don't have those CDs or anything myself, but I love listening to it when he is. Green Day is punk. I, I Green Day used to used to be more punkish. Then they became became sort of punkish, rockish. Um, I don't know how to describe them anymore because I haven't listened to them. Uh, to their recent music. Ah! Can't see anything. I'm running. I should use those chains of ice more. I realize. I can't see anything in this corridor. Rubber bands are pretty useful. <laughs> what? Rubber bands? You know, for shutting up babies or what? Um, Your value heap was pretty good few really good songs from the early 70s. I don't know when it's from, actually. I just listened to it and I thought it was really nice. I don't know much about them. I do know I bought my dad a... Oh, goodness. I bought him a compilation. That wasn't Uriah Heep. That was something else. And it was very good. Oh, my goodness. What was that? I could probably find it in my Amazon history. <laughs> What's that group? My dad has got really good taste, actually. Like old rock groups. Um, seventies band. I'm pretty sure it is. A, yeah, it might be a seventies band. I don't know if it's big or, or not big. It's not one of those. Um, It's probably not one of those really famous ones. But again, I, I have no idea because I didn't live in the 70s. Mm. Oh, goodness. What was it? That's so frustrating. That's quite big, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, because I can't remember anything, which is really annoying. Um, I mean, I bought it for him. I should remember. It's completely gone. I remember typing it, typing it into Google's search. I can't name a song for the life of me because it was the first time I heard of this group. I might look it up after after this floor, actually, because it's frustrating me so much. I'm so sorry. A ton of decent band in the 70s. They were. I mean, that was... There was so much good music back then. And what we have now is kind of sad. It's just so trash in comparison. I'm sorry. But it is. In comparison, it is really, really bad. Um, I'm sure you, you've still got artists and whatnot, but it's just not the same. It was It's become way too electric and digital, in my opinion. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Hey, 
kitty. Are you leaving? Damn. And he was not even the protector of the gate, was he? Let me just get past it. <laughs> past it somehow. So with the 80s, they still make good music. So I just need to get past this. Musicians, the new ones are artists. It's much more about how you look, how you present yourself on social media, how well do you sell on Spotify. It's much less about self-expression, I think, and much more of a money machine. And that never is a good thing for any, any kind of industry. It also seems like you can't just be ooh, ow, ow, ow. you can't just be a musician anymore. As you say, you have to be an artist, you have to be an actor, you have to be a TV host, a what is it what is it called? A TV star? You can't just make music anymore. That really hurts. This dude. Um, that one. Okay. Wearing a lot of different hats as a musician. Okay, I need to look it up, okay? What is... I hope this doesn't completely kill my, my stream. Um, what is my history? My customer history. Okay, of course I need to sign in. Because now it's it's bothering me to the point I need to find out. Okay. Buy again. See all the orders. I've bought some <laughs> some candy. Um Can I only see for the past three months? No, show me. Show me this year. There's World of Warcraft books. I bought him the fine art of invisible detection. That wasn't this year then. Last year. The Columbia Albums Collection is what it's called. So I'm guessing the artist is called... Oh, 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 it's the Blue Oyster Cult. I knew that one. It... It's the Blue Oyster Cult. That's the one. Oh, dear. Okay, this is a long one. We enjoyed their greatest hits, but they were eating... What? Well, they're not that obscure. I never said they were obscure, did I? I said I didn't I didn't actually know whether they were big because I didn't live in the 70s. <laughs> but Blue Oyster Cult, he listens to a lot as well. And they are also very good, I think. At least what I've heard that he's played so far. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to focus a little bit because at this point in time, because Mortregard is apparently pretty series in the twisting corridors. I need to focus a little bit. This last this last layer. Okay. Um this one. Just imagine a musician who gets outed as an eater. Which the blue the blue voice are called? Okay. Okay, let's go. Look at these tunes. Okay. 
Look at these two. Oh dear, getting more stuff. Rewind. There we go. This should not be a thing. If you listen to the lyrics of someone of the modern artist, I wonder how people can even listen to them. My words, exactly. I, you and I are completely on the same page. Just don't listen to today's artists' lyrics. They're just, if it rhymes, it goes. I don't even, at this point. I just at this at this point in time I just feel like we we well the people that listen to today's music enjoy it for a different reason than the people of the 70s and 80s and and the people that listen to music from the 70s and 80s I would have gone to so many concerts if I lived back then I need to get this horseman out to help me. I was thinking maybe Prince Bashur the Blue Oyster thing. <laughs> the fact that they're idols of the younger generation explains what's wrong with this generation. Uh, I, I'm just, it just makes me sad actually. Um, that because of the artists of this generation most young people feel the way they do about themselves. Um, you need to look a certain way, you need to say a certain thing, you have to care about certain things. But in all honesty, I think, I think many, many artists from the 80s and the 70s probably inspired young people to explore um, like alcohol and drugs and smoking a lot more which is also not good for you so well although i will i don't know what's worse um part of me wants to say that it's worse feeling like you have to pay a lot of money for surgeries and whatnot to look a certain way and you can't just feel comfortable in your own skin that's that's the worst part of it because once you've changed yourself like that it's nigh impossible to change back and i just think it's sad that you're not yeah <clears throat> It's also because of this trend of reality TV. That doesn't help either. And that's got less to do with the music and much more to do with what we watch in the television. And people watch it, hence why it gets made. So... Um, it's, it's really all about the consumers. The consumers drive the content. So it's a kind of a chicken or egg situation. Okie dokie. 
let's take this out so I can get something to eat. It's also getting really dark outside. You guys can't see it. Um, you can probably see it on the on the camera quality. The fact that it's getting dark outside because it can't take in enough light to to make it a fair quality. Mm. Six riders to ride it, and Freddie Mercury wrote amazing stuff all on his own. You I mean you have to be an artist, but that's also the thing that I sometimes notice on the radio. I ask myself, it really doesn't take much to be an artist these days, now does it? I mean, even I could do it. Night vision stream. I don't think that's a thing. Okay, finally. That one we want. This one, this one, some Oberon Durance, please. More health to me. And that one. Spend it all. That's right, 3%. Surgery at second or third nose would be cool. Though. Imagine all the sneezing and breathing you get done with three noses. You're right. I mean, I don't appreciate the sneezing times three but all the oxygen though must be so nice you shouldn't compare Freddie Mercury to these mortals certainly all right let's take this dude out let's get this over with and then I can call in my friend to help me with the rest Should have called in the horseman. Darn it. I'm going to die from this now. He must not get that howl off, that's for sure. He wants to get it off, isn't he? Darn it. Was I rest? I I press release too too early. Okay, take two. Um, do you play? I have you played Wrath of the Lich King Classic. I have Owl Shark actually. Um, on a couple of streams, I have played. Just not um, just not today. I felt like I had a lot of chores to do today. Um, we haven't actually successfully completed any of them because nothing wants to drop but twisting corridors at least completing trying to you play a death knight you should deal death out not take it in yeah you're right this dude is tough though he's got physical damage done increased by 36 and mag magical damage done increased by 15 um, that's what more regard does to you. It's it's kind of rough. Most modern artists lip sync. They do. They can't even can't even sing. Okay, let's get the um, the death gate up here because he um, can help me take care of things. Let's go again.
Those soul fragments are going to be the death of me. Literally. <laughs> Darn it! Yeah, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Get me in a bubble. Bubbles. Why was that so difficult? Just stop shopping so easy. Oh yeah, I definitely need I definitely need a hand for the lost layers. These bosses are tough. You can't do this with less good gear. Can't believe people compare Beyonce to someone like Whitney Houston. I will say, if you do compare today's artists, Beyonce isn't the worst. God, this may be. Um, what I will say, though, is I'm going to check on the fireplace. <laughs> Just going to get up real quick. Be right back. I turn on some light a little bit. I think that helps. It, it makes it look warm as well in here. Okay. No more twisting corridors by myself, I think. So, but I only need three more. I think we can manage. Um, what else was on my agenda? I need to consult. You know what? I'm going to go back and do the troubles at home calling that's the final thing for today because i am getting hungry and i will not be fed dinner until seven so i do need to to feed myself something else before that happens okie dokie What was it I said today? I just wanted to do something relaxing. <laughs> I would have been devastated if I didn't take that boss out. That would have just brought me right back to when I did Twisting Corridors for the first time. That was back almost, almost right after it was released. I went in there. It, yeah, it was right after it had been released because... I went there when I still mained my Demon Hunter, which was just in the beginning of Shadowlands because I changed to DK pretty quickly. And I got to layer 17. And then I could not get past it. And it was just the worst. I got so bummed out by that. I didn't go to Twisting Corridors up until this point. Hi. What's up? You want out? Are you hungry? What can I do for you? What can I do you for? Hmm? Hi. Do you want to come up? <laughs> do you want something? Hmm. Okay. You want something. Hang on. What? I'll be back.
he was hungry. <laughs> he really wanted food and I had I had covered her food bowl with one of her food plates. So she's got some plates for um like these sort of deep plates for water and kibble. And I had covered her food with one of those to protect it from plies. And so she could not reach her food. And I understand her frustration at that. Okay, so is or isn't Nerissa up? Nerissa's not up. Okay, we'll just go and get some coffers then for the rest of the percentage here. Oh, I should go to Sarah Mortis as well. I need to go to Sarah Mortis because I still need... So I'm not going to take that coffer because that's awful. I still need those two swords. They still won't drop for me. One is from the big lashy plant down here, the gluttonous overgrowth. And the other one is from Syrath, the covetous. And they won't give it up. One is a white, no, one is a green sword and one is the red one. And they're just awesome transmogs. Need to get my hands on them. I can't end the stream before I've done all my chores for the day. <laughs> so that's that's at least another half an hour, I think. So I'll just have to last. <laughs> Alright. Grave dust. What are we making? We are making spider jerky. Yummy. I guess I could make spider jerky with the few spiders we've got here. <laughs> this was... Alright, and then we got some... What else can we take? We can go and defend this artillery. I think it's yay. Yeah, that's the, that's the fastest one. Oh, we've also got it to haunt her. I could take it to haunt her. There we go. Done. Finito. I mean, we could we could cross our fingers that I get a necro ray egg. That would also be a nice drop. Everything has failed. <laughs> Otherwise, no drop for, for today. The game does not care if it's your birthday, if it's Christmas, if it's a regular day. Nothing. I should probably let my cat out for a little bit. If she comes asking for it. She hasn't been out for the past couple of days. Now I do think some rain is coming. It's getting dark. And it was also cold in the living room. I had turned the heater off because I thought maybe I don't need it so much. Maybe it's warm enough. But no, I need to also turn on the fireplace in there to heat it up nicely. Gim. Oh, almost, almost name brothers. Name siblings. You know what I can't get here? Which was one of the reasons why we got uh, sushi, me and my friends, on Friday, is I can't get sushi. <laughs> okay, cat, cat is back. I need to let her out. I'm sorry. I'll be back.
This cat is hilarious. <laughs> He's so confused, but then also so determined to tell me what she wants. So I walk halfway through the house and then she stops and just looks at me and sits down. And I go, don't you want to go out? Are you not going to come with me to the door that I can let you out of? And she just sits there and meows at me and looks at me in front of the bathroom. It's like, I know you need to go to the bathroom. Come with me outside. And I know she can't hear me because she's completely deaf, but <laughs> I still ask her. <laughs> I finally got, got her to follow me outside. It's just... <laughs> Cats sometimes. I don't know what she was trying to tell me. Maybe she was she was telling me she was tired halfway. I do gotta keep an ear out, so to speak, though, because we have neighboring cats and she has not been outside for a while, so you can imagine that the neighboring cats have sort of taken over a little bit. And I wanna make sure that they don't attack her or anything. And if they do, that I come to her defense immediately. Because they are quite nasty. One of them is actually fine. One of them I don't really see that often when my cat is outside. But there is one big red cat. And he does not like the fact that my cat owns this place. Which she, she basically does. I mean... It's her house. It's her people. But he's not having it. <laughs> okay, what are we missing? We're missing some vines. Missing one, maybe? The one in a bush? There. I wonder who's going to be protecting who when we get a kitten. Also, the kitten is going to be old enough to move in here right around Christmas. So it's going to be quite a Christmas present. I think it's actually good timing. Keeping an eye on the stream speed again, it's... I noticed it went red, I don't like that. <laughs> what are you trying to tell me? I will say it was turned off this night, which is usually not something I do the night before I stream, because it, got, it does get a bit wonky. It seems like it needs about 24 hours to stabilize. Okay, one sword, please. No. F foot guards. Next time. Let's see if Syrath is up. I really do look forward to exploring Dragonflight. I look forward to the first raid, although I'm still quite skeptical about the loot system. Still skeptical. I don't know if it's going to work out. Does not look like Sarath is up. I mean, he should come up 
he should be here so i can leave my character here come back in a few hours these raptoras are driving me insane <laughs> the other day i was camping this guy and every time i went afk these birds started attacking me all right i'll just i'll just plant my character here honestly because he's not popping Is it a cat or is it a fireplace that's making sounds? I can't tell because they make the same kind of noise. My cat meows without a sound and sounds like fire crackling. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it at that for today. I seriously need some food and it's getting dark and it's getting cold and I need to get the other fireplace going if I want it to be to be warm when it's time for dinner which I do want and I'm also getting a little bit cold here my hands are getting cold um, but thank you very very much for joining me today thank you so much for the gift subs I really appreciate that I had a good time I've been looking forward to this for a bit there are more streams up I have added them to the schedule. There's going to be one later this week. There's going to be two in a row on the 15th and 16th, I want to say. There's two this week on my days off. Um, so yeah, plenty of streams in the future. I hope to see you there. Until then, thank you as always, guys. Look look after yourselves <laughs> look after that's not supposed to be a question do look after yourselves and look after each other bye